Hey, Nate Black 5184 here, and welcome to my next reaction to Star Wars Clone Wars. We're going with Season 3, Episode 1, Clone Cadets. And first off, I just want to thank everybody stopping by, whether you're a new viewer or returning viewer. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come watch me react to these episodes. It means a lot to me. And if you do enjoy the content, if you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of these. You know, like the video if you enjoy it, and definitely leave a comment let me know what you think. Each of those help the channel out greatly, and I appreciate every bit of your support. So, first thing I'm going to say right off the bat is I am really glad that I broke down and decided to go ahead and do these in chronological order. Because I have a feeling that it's going to help me really follow the story a lot better. Not that I don't think I would enjoy it any more or less, but in terms of following the story, definitely feels like it's going to be a lot better that way. So... Really, to those of you that really strongly suggested I do that, thank you so much. It is actually already feels like proven the paid dividends on it. So one of the things I know I had mentioned before, even before I started doing it in chronological order, is that I was saying how it felt like that I, that we were going to get to kind of know the clones a little bit better and to where they don't really just kind of like become like background players outside of a couple. And... Considering that last episode that I did was definitely a clone heavy episode. This one looks like it's gonna be another clone heavy episode So really looking forward to this one. The only thing I don't like about it is it's gonna make order 66 that much more heartbreaking Because we're gonna get so attached to these clones and it's like even though in the back of your mind, you know You know the ones that do survive are gonna betray us in the end But at the same time it is still kind of cool to really kind of not necessarily get backstory with them, but basically make it to where they just aren't just faceless background players, even though they all technically have the same face. But you see, they each have their own personalities. They have their own train of thoughts. I mean, we have one clone that went off and betrayed everybody and was going to give us up to the Separatists. So already you're seeing that the clones have their own personalities, their own traits, their own feelings, their own desires, and everything like that. And it's really cool to see them getting into this story. So, um, this one, just based on it, probably sounds like it's going to be chronicling what the clones have to go through through training, which, in all honesty, is nothing I ever even considered. Because I just figured, you know, they just go with Jango Fett's abilities and everything like that, and it's just automatically ingrained in them. So... We're going to go ahead and get started. I will have a full watch along of this on my Patreon. And uh, in that watch along, I will have a timer on there so you can be able to check out and be exactly where I am. You just have to have a copy for it yourself, whether it's via Disney Plus or if you happen to have any DVDs of these. And I will also make sure to have uh, early access for these for my Patreons as well. Just keep an eye on the community post or on my Patreon post to see when those are. And let's go ahead and get started. So I guess they get cloned and then go through their training all on Camino. That's fascinating. CG-782, no breaking formation. Just follow my lead, will ya? Woo! That was close. Seems to have some trouble. What do you recommend? Well, I'm no Jedi, so forgive my bluntness. But I say they fail. Send them down to maintenance duty with 99 and the other rejects. Yeah, they aren't working as a unit. If these cadets can't get past their short-sighted selfishness, they will never come together. Unity wins war, gentlemen. I mean, she said it. Hey, that's the whole idea. You could tell right off the bat they weren't working as a unit. Guys, we've got to follow orders. Come on. I don't know. I think it went rather well. No, it did not go well, dude. Arc troopers follow orders. Care to repeat that, Echo? God, oh my I lord. Cut it out. If you two would focus on fighting droids as much as you do fighting each other, you might stand a chance out there. Maybe our problems come from our training. I'd rather be taught by a Jedi than some mercenary bounty hunter. I mean, he's a freaking bounty hunter. It's not like he's a scrub. Even this bad bachelor 99 has more sense than you guys do, and he's a maintenance clone. You're all a waste of my time. 
Ooh. Man, that was brutal. I don't even know anything. I know they got a show called The Bad Batch. I wonder if that's what they mean. Ever since the unfortunate death of Django Fett, we have had to stretch his DNA to produce more clones. My only thought is for you to search the galaxy and find a suitable donor for your future clones. As you know, there is no mm -hmm. one way to make a clone. Sometimes our efforts are less than successful. Are you suggesting we just cast off the Domino Squad? They're living beings, not objects. Another theme I've seen really strong of this show, the fact that the Jedi value these clones' lives. I want you to meet Commander Colt of the Rancor Battalion. I want you troopers to remember, we're shoulder to shoulder on those front lines. Brothers! And sometimes we may quarrel, but no matter what, we are united. That's the key. That's the key. Bravo unit, step up. Well, bravo for bravo squad. Show oh my goodness. Come on, boys. Maybe we can learn something. Shut up, Echo. I have very, very low hopes for Domino Squad. <laughs> Nicely done. See what they're doing? They're working together. That's the key. Domino squad. Huh. And how are they? It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Check it out, guys. Time to watch the dominoes fall. Oh. Oh. They are so much better than us. Knock it off. Oh, my lord. They've already failed. Oh, guy, you work together, you can do this. Give them their next set of orders and watch the chaos ensue. Take it easy, I'm on your side. Get it? Your side? Huh? Oh, my lord, this is not the time. Droid bait, behind you! Did he just call him droid bait? Guys, I think he's injured. Leave him, come on! We are gonna pass this time. No, you're not. Disobeyed orders, and you left a man behind. You broke rule number one. There it is. Too overzealous. You are here to discuss your squad, aren't you? How did you, uh, Jedi, mate? <laughs> I am a Jedi, where the individual and the group are one and the same. Much like you clones. Which is why Fives and I are looking out for each other. As individuals, but not as a group. Exactly. You're where you need to be. Solve your problems as a whole, not as individuals. I have decided to allow you and the rest of your squad to take the test again tomorrow. Okay, so her and Green Bounty Hunter see something in these cats. How are they going to get their stuff in order by the next day? It's all a big joke to you, right? Like those little nicknames you and your clone brothers give each other? <laughs> oh, I could take one for you right now, sir. Oh. Come on, clone. Hit me. Hit me, you joker. Can't take anything seriously, can you? You're a real cut-up, aren't you? Come on! <sighs> Thank you, sir. For what? <clears throat> for my name. Cut up. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, so we had two talk to the Jedi. We had him. I don't even know what to describe what happened with him. Who's going to come up with the solution? Abby, you going somewhere? Get out of here. You're going AWOL. 
You can't do this to your squad. My squad? We're nothing but a bad batch. Failures. You're always trying to be the anchor, Heavy. You know, do it on your own. Well, maybe you should embrace the fact that you have a team. You need them. And they need you. I'll carry such a heavy burden on your own. When you have your brothers at your side, Heavy. Or just numbers, 99. Just numbers. Not to me. To me, you've always had a name. Man, I tell you what, this show can get deep sometimes. If he is not here, we will fail. Not today, brothers. Today, we pass. And one more thing. The name's Heavy. Yeah, <laughs> alright, okay. Alright, I got, I got a decent feeling about this. We all know what we have to do. Alright, come on guys, just work. Together, you can do this. Why am I so invested in this? There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. That's it, boys. Stay together. Pipes, on your left. There you go. No problem, brother. There you go. Yes. Come on, Domino, show him what you can do. There you go. Keep it up. We're doing great. We might actually pass. Not so fast. Still got the Citadel. Yes, you do. Don't go nuts. And no clone left behind either. Nicely done. Where's their ascension cables? Oh, must have gotten lost. Oh, homeboy sabotaged them. This is unfair to the cadets. Adversity in war is a constant, Dallas. But Brick has cheated. The enemy won't play fair either. I mean, fair point, but still. We can use them as a step to the next level. Form a chain and use each other to scale this face. Use the guns? Are you crazy? Trust me, I know weapons. I'm gonna draw their fire. You guys blast them. Just remember, no one left behind. Oh, yes! Nice! I'll be, uh, creative little clones, aren't they? Well done, yes! Domino, yeah! <laughs> That's what's up, my dudes! Brick. Woo! Your <laughs> actions have brought out the best in these cadets. Looks like they were well trained. Perhaps the finest soldiers I've ever seen. <laughs> well done! I heard you were quite the leader out there. No leaders. We are a team. All of us, 99. The army's lucky to have a clone like you, Heavy. Not as lucky as I am to have a brother like you. Eh, we'll see each other again. I mean, how else am I supposed to get this back from you? <sighs> okay, I wasn't expecting a touching episode. Oh! Try and get my Mary J. Blige going on. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. May the force be with you. Oof. Attention! Helmet, march! Ooh! Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright y'all, that was Clone Wars Season 3, Episode 1, Clone Cadets, and man, I was not expecting to, you know, get, you know, somewhat emotional on that. I know I was talking about, I'm 
I'm sure I dated myself a little bit when I was talking about the Mary J. Blige show. I'm not going to cry, but... Oh, boy. Man, that was... I did not accept... How in the world do they do it so well where you can get so invested with a group of folks that you just met and then in under 20 minutes, really, if we're really being honest about it, I was going to say under 30 since the episode itself was shorter than that, but really in terms of the show of where everything went, you know, like really in under 20 minutes to really get so invested in this group that you're feeling emotional when they finally got over the hump. But... Again, and that's the other thing I love about these shows is the phrases they have at the beginning, how they always kind of tie in with, um, I guess you could say, the theme of the episode. And the thing that I got to say, um, you know, and I think that it, I think maybe that's why it struck such a chord with me is because, you know, it's like they said, brothers in arms are brothers for life. And, you know, it's like no matter how long you know, you go without speaking to maybe somebody that you served with, you know, as a military veteran, it's like, you really are, you know, brothers, because there are times where you really have to, you know, trust each other with your lives. I mean, you know, and it just kind of got me back to thinking to just how proud, you know, I was, you know, when I, you know, went through stuff with my own graduations, you know, thankfully my brother can, um, my actual brother, because he was a, um, in the Navy too. We both were actually both corpsmen in the Navy. We went to boot camp together. We went to core school together and then we even did our field medical training together. So really the three hardest parts that I probably could have gone through in the military, I had my brother, you know, with me, you know, which made it easy, but at the same time threw a little competition in there, but either which way, you know, but we still formed bonds with other people, you know, like, and, you know, just getting through all those things together you know you realize that yeah there has to be a lot in you to get through those but really in the end it really does require a lot of the support of the people who are there with you they support you you support them because everybody has their strengths and everybody has their weaknesses and when you can kind of help fill in those gaps to really make sure the task at hand gets done there really is no satisfying feeling because you then gain more self-confidence in yourself, but then you also gain confidence in the people that are with you and vice versa. They get more self-confidence and they gain confidence in you and you just form that bond where it really doesn't matter what you're going up against, you know, even if the situations are, you know, die dire or adverse kind of like what um happened with Don domino when they didn't have their ascension cables you know together they found a way to do what needed to be done and you know again just seeing all that just made me go back to all of the training that i did and i think that's why this episode probably got to me so much is because there's really a, a lot of real life in in that episode and how things go and in all honesty i would not be surprised if there was some sort of advisor and going on that because yes there is also that fact that in within a squad there are a lot of different personalities but you know you do have to come together you have to be united you have to be one but at the same time you can still I guess you could say keep your individuality you just have to find a way to make it to where it helps the team and it doesn't just help you so man that was a that was a deep episode so i'm not gonna lie in terms of i'm not gonna say that this will probably be like my favorite episode and the fact that i think that this is going to be the best episode of the series but in terms of episodes that's gonna really make me feel something it's gonna be hard to top that one because again there's just too much that i can personally relate to with that episode and wow and you know what sucks is, is as hard as i was cheering for them as excited as i was they're gonna betray us so you know what you know it's just like it's almost like, you know, I don't want... It's like, I find myself cheering for them, and at the same time, I kind of don't, but it's like, ugh. Man, talk about a mind messer. Whew. 
anyhow, I I really don't know what else to say from there. So um, really, at this point, I'm just going to suggest that you check out some of my other Clone Wars reactions. Feel free to check out other Star Wars reactions. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope to see you again, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.